Our program is hands-on, practical. It's in the field a lot. Uh, and there is some theoretical components as well. But, you know, we, we head out kayaking. We go out rock climbing. We've uh, got mountaineering in the course. We've got sea kayaking. In the first like five weeks of the course, two of the first weeks we actually spent out in uh, Wanaka. So just the whole group out there, one group uh, kayaking for what, the first week and rock climbing the second week. We have a high quality uh, diploma that gives people uh, qualification that they can leave and, and go into industry. Our graduates at the moment, we've tracked the stats and uh, it's very successful at, at getting people into work. So really good because the instructors that we've got are all like really well known in their own fields, like, with lots of experience, some of which have actually uh, done this course before us. A typical day for a student might be to uh, meet in the morning around about 8.30 to 9 and then we would uh, get the van packed for whatever we're going to be doing for the day. And if it's kayaking, it's a bit of equipment organisation, then we head out to the venue. Uh, we spend the bulk of the day out there doing, practising the skills. It's our outside classroom. And so they'll be taking notes and they'll be learning and then we'll be back in the afternoon, late afternoon, pack up, clean up and that's the day done. The highlights from my study so far are probably just the group of people that you're on the course with, really, because you've all got very similar interests. You all just get along so well, and then the instructors also get involved in all the banter that you all grow as a group, really. My highlights for me are probably when we go away places. I went out on tramping last week, which was great. For the price that we're paying for our course, we really do get a lot out of it. We get go off to Wanaka all the time, off to Long Beach, so we're outside just you know, that's our studying, just out climbing a rock or kayak surfing, whereas other people are stuck in lectures. Dunedin is uh, an amazing student town centre to be at. So a lot of people come for the, the student life that we have down here on the East Coast. The English fees are now tripling, so it costs the same amount to come out here as an international student as it is to stay in the UK as a domestic student. And uh, living expenses here, uh, accommodation is so much cheaper to about half the price as it is in the UK. It's a really nice environment to study in and to get to know people. But if you want to go on weird adventures, the Tug Peninsula is half an hour's drive away. You can sort of uh, ski like one minute and within a couple of hours drive you can be off surfing on the west coast. It's really just handy just to get around really, that's what I love. You could buy your fish and chips and then get up onto a ski field almost before they're even cold. If you ask me, I'd say just go for it, come out here, just do it. Come to New Zealand, it's a fantastic safe place, it's an adventure program, it's fantastic and come to a course that has, is high in quality, respects the learner engagement and is very practical focused.